Metro. I'm your host, Christina Andrianopoulos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the beautiful crisp days and the holidays full of love and joy. I am truly excited to introduce for the first time on my show, Miss Catherine Glass, a gifted and well-trained psychic and medium. Catherine has also been chosen to be part of the next reality series on the major networks, like the John Edwards Crossing Over Show. Today, you will get to know her. She lives in our location, and she will be talking about her special gift and doing a reading on me right on my show. Wow. Welcome back and I have the great pleasure. For the first time I am bringing a psychic medium on my show and you know what? You know being Greek we used to read coffee cups and tea leaves and all and now I have a wonderful <laughs> beautiful lady with such a spirit. Catherine Glass how are you? Fine thank you Christine I'm really happy to be here. Thanks I'm so so happy to have you here, and I brought you here because I understand that you, in your destiny, you have fame coming to you because you've been <laughs> selected to be one of the next major network psychics on television like John Edwards with Crossing Over. We hope so. I know, and so now I know her <laughs> before she becomes extremely <laughs> famous in this life. So keep an open mind because it's amazing what happens out there that you don't know about so Catherine you have you live in in the area you live in the Concord Mass yep. area yes and you and your husband in this life <laughs> <laughs> right? we're gonna be saying that a lot um, have a healing center right yes we do tell us a little bit about that um, well it's located in Concord Massachusetts um, the home of the revolution and the beginning <laughs> of America right and um, we started it about 20 years ago we're both healers. Um, Jonathan is an acupuncturist and an Ayurvedic practitioner, medicine practitioner, and a nutritional counselor, consultant, and quite intuitive himself, I must say. Yeah. And I am an energy healer, a spiritual intuitive counselor, and a psychic medium. So um, we started out as massage therapists. We met in California at a spa we were working at, the Claremont in Berkeley, a beautiful hotel spa. And um, after acupuncture school was over, which was on the East Coast, we settled in the East where um, we both are originally from, yep. and um, raising a family, and um, opened a center, and it's been very successful. That's great. You have two lovely boys who are extremely talented. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, your, your wonderful mom, who I got <coughs> to know through her passing only, right. you had a memorial, and I attended that, and she was amazing. She was on Broadway in New York, mm -hmm. and very talented. Mm -hmm. and that's where your psychic ability, your gift came from, right? Yeah, from, from the lineage, yes, definitely. Um, her mother actually, she always insisted she wasn't psychic, but she was, because she always told me the story about how she saw me before I was born and everything. Yeah. And she said, well, that's because you were psychic and you could project yourself. <laughs> but anyway, um, her mother, my grandmother, um, was definitely had mediumistic abilities. And they do tend to go down in families, yeah. um, and not just through the women either. There are a lot of males brilliant sure. male psychics and mediums. So sure. it's my grandmother that um, gave me most of these gifts. She was just naturally very That's gifted. That's great. That's great. And our paths <laughs> cross, and I always believe it's not by coincidence, it's not coincidence Absolutely. at all. We we're supposed to. Yeah. And I'm so pleased that I'm able to be showcase you here. <laughs> and I, w I just want to make sure that we're friends after you become really famous. <laughs> But anyway, so I did come to see you because I have to get to see meet all my guests. Mm -hmm. And like earlier, I have to taste all the vodkas to oh, make yeah. sure it's like, yeah, the experience. <laughs> but I came to see you, and you did an amazing reading on me. But before you even get into any of that, mm -hmm. for the guests who don't know about psychics or mediums, why don't you explain the difference? A psychic, a medium. Okay. Um, well, basically, all mediums are psychic but not all psychic people are mediumistic. Mm -hmm. So mediumistic means um, the difference between a psychic and a medium is a psychic will tune into um, you, your life, things right. in your energy field, your auric field, it's called your aura, and, and there's information in the aura. And we can um, glean things from that information through using our intuition, which is highly developed. Like anyone can take piano lessons, but not everyone is going to be a concert pianist. Right. Similar with psychic ability, it's just um, it will present itself in one's life and if you have a passion and a desire to use it or follow it, usually it means you're, you're supposed to yeah. and it develops quite strongly. Um, 
So psychic reading has to do mostly with the person you're reading or the event or the right. place, the energy of a place. Um, mediumistic ability has to do with specifically making a link to um, someone on the other side, a spirit who has left their physical form. And like, like sort of, like everybody knows John Edwards, I yes. mean, and, and others who've come to the Hanover Theater. Yeah. And basically, <laughs> you're saying that our loved ones come back in spirit, which I believe. Mm -hmm. And I believe I'm guided by my father who's passed away and mm -hmm. my grandparents and all that, because I'd like to believe that. And yeah. so you can either choose to believe that or not, yeah. but I prefer to believe that. And so basically what you do is you tune that energy, knowing you're intuitive, comes through to you, mm -hmm. and then you're able to give messages. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like my exactly. grandmother gave a message in our reading, exactly. which was really wonderful. And yeah. she said, get married, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because she was Greek. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, yeah. great. Yes. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Now, when did you realize you had this ability? Well, I think I always had it, even as a child, and you don't, when you're psychic, child you don't know you're psychic you're just you you know yeah. you're just yourself and um, but my mother would always highlight it to me because I come from a lineage of people that are comfortable with this ability with psychic ability and they talk about it and so she would we'd be reading she tells me the story I don't I remember a little bit of it but she'd say you know I would be reading to you and you'd say mom I know what's gonna happen on the next page yeah. and and I did I would you know just ramble it off to her yeah. and then as I grew older around age 12 13 I became the counselor to all my friends you know how girls get yes, mix it up with each other and then um, my mother was also a professor at college and she taught acting and the students would come over a lot and for parties and things and I was about 12 13 and I would get friendly with them and one of them was telling me her woes you know her right. love woes right. and I was just this wise child I was telling her all kinds of things about how to handle the emotions and I don't know where this was coming from but right. it was very intuitive you that's know, great. at an early age when we come back from the break you're going to try to tune in okay. and you did say to me that it could be one of my camera people or my program engineer or my general manager or if whatever. We're, if we're going to do a mediumistic linking yes if we're going to do a psychic reading I can focus specifically okay. on you and I can intend to focus on you for mediumistic link okay. but it could be that because there are other people in the studio sure. I may be describing someone that right. someone else out there will know okay so. well whatever happens whatever happens and you know if they tap you, tap you on your shoulder whoever it is just say oh there's well, like mediumship you know. is always experimental I mean mm -hmm. it really comes under the the umbrella of experimentation so that's great yeah. and so <laughs> you saw it here first before it even got into major network I don't know which network yet is it going to be Bravo or lifestyle <laughs> or whatever lifetime but you saw Catherine glass here and when we come back, we're going to try to tune in to some of your energy, or Great. my energy, or anybody's energy. Great. All right? Great. Yep. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. And now, if you missed the earlier episode, we have Catherine Glass, a gifted psychic and medium. And no, this is not the Oprah show. It's City Vibes Metro with me. And we're coming right back. Why should only Oprah have fun with this, right? <laughs> so we're back with Catherine Glass. Now, at this point, you said that you, you've been also, I just wanted to get that you've been highly trained as well. You've been, mm -hmm. yes. you've been to I believe all in training. I do. Right, because I mean, you become refined at mm -hmm. what you do. Mm -hmm. So, yes, right. of course. So, right now, you're going to give our audience a little bit of a reading of me or whoever pops up, psychic or medium. And I said, just go for it. So, yes, you mean a sample, yeah. Yeah. Well, Christina, I'm tuning into you, so right. I'm going to go with this um, energy that's appearing to me and, and sure. it, listen up out there if anybody okay. <laughs> um, can hear, um, recognize this. But, I do feel um, uh, the presence of a female around you, and this woman was very loving, but not, I don't believe she was an, an actual blood relative, but I feel she was someone that was around you in your childhood. Because on my way here, to be honest, I was sh shown scenes of you as a child carrying a candle in a church, in a white dress, and it looked to me like a confirmation or some special event in your life right. that this woman is remembering. She's well-dressed, but simple and plain, um, and she would have worn hats, um, probably a Sunday hat or something of that nature. She has dark hair, chestnut brown, mm -hmm. um, and it come, it curls a bit here. Um, mm -hmm. I guess the era, I don't know what the the times probably would have been in the um, 60s or something like this, the late 50s, early 60s. No, it wasn't in the or 50s later. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and well, she was older though. So, right. um, and she uh, she brings me this vision of, of you in this, she was, I feel she was attending this 
ceremony for you. Do you have any connection to anyone you could think of that, that were women around at that time that wa mm -hmm. wasn't a yaya necessarily, but um, someone close like that, maybe more like an auntie or a friend of the family? Well, we lived very close to the church. That's what we did. My parents migrated here from Greece, and okay. so it was very important to be around the church. So mm -hmm. we were in the church all the time. So for you to see me in the church with a white dress and a candle yeah. was a frequent occasion for okay. us. Okay. And there were always wonderful women around us. Many times I, they were like extended aunts or... Yeah, you this know, woman was in the church every... She was very devout, mm -hmm. and she's... I, I feel, you know, the the thing with mediumship is you, you bring forth evidence as much as you can, and obviously right. for the sake of time, we right, don't have right. that much time, um, and hopefully you will recognize it. The better the evidence, the more you'll recognize. Um, this woman would have worn more like a, a tweed style or simple mm -hmm. style suit and with a, you know, a close pencil skirt and a jacket and then a, a sort of a flamboyant hat, yep. but it would have been a subdued color if she wore a hat. And she had long, she was long and slender, um, medium to tall, and she... Um, there's always a message. A spirit comes through usually with a reason. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I feel she's close to you. She was close to the family and um, would have been at this event of your um, confirmation, I feel like it was. or But maybe that was when you're infant, so maybe there's something else when you're right. older. Well, during Christmas there was always um, uh, a pageant happening mm -hmm. and obviously liking the stage, okay. I would love to be, you know, wearing a white dress with a candle and <laughs> in front of people. Well, so. her message, I think, to you, um, let me just see for a minute what she's here to convey to you. She's, she's acknowledging that you've been through um, a, quite a journey in your life mm -hmm. and that you've um, had your share of troubles and challenges and ha what a bright, sparkling, beautiful light you are and that you Thank always you. have been since you were a child. She said you still have that same sweetness and also that strength mm -hmm. and she wants to um, celebrate you and convey that to you with great love and um, she also wants to encourage you to look forward with hope and um, positive expectation for the great. future for you, particularly in certain areas of your life. That's um, great. Now, can yeah, I just yeah. ask you a, just a tiny little bit of psychic, like, yeah? is there <laughs> going to be a lot of money coming into my life? <laughs> like many of us, probably everybody, the love and money, right? Yes, the love yeah. and the money and the And career. good health, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, well, honestly, you know, just tuning into your energy right now at the right. time that you asked this question, you already um, effulge a very um, opulent energy about you. I mean, look how you're dressed. You know, this is already coming and radiating from your aura, right. from your energy. And you're very quick and bright and, um, and witty, and you've already surrounding yourself with people. You're surrounded by the public. All of these things move toward that kind of an abundance, outcome. You know, it's yeah. just, yeah, it's abundance. It's abundant consciousness, right. and it's abundant... Um, the perception of reality and that will attract that to you. That's fantastic and what I wanted to do is anybody can come to you and get a reading yeah, and yeah. that's great and, and as you're speaking your website's popping up Okay. and great. I would suggest that you come before she becomes really famous because then you're <laughs> not going to be available as much as you are now and that see. could happen like very very soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, they've see. already done the trailer. Yes. So. But I do I do do families and uh, the holidays is a wonderful time to work with a medium because you can bring forward loved ones who oh, love their they're nice. always at your celebrations. They're always at the weddings, the parties, the Thanksgivings, the Christmases. They you mean come, they all they come. come down and party with us? They, they don't come down. They're around. It's oh, like I'm a sorry. step over. And, no, and they do. They want to be remembered. So toast them at the holidays, everybody. Oh, that's and, a great idea. Yeah, it's a great time to yeah. bring in a medium. You know what they say? They say if, if it wasn't for your memory of your loved one, they, they would perish. So it's great to remember them like yep. that yeah. and invite them to all the parties. Yep. Well, and I'm I do readings on phone as well. And oh, Skype. that's great. You do mm -hmm. re readings on phone. Okay, well, it's popping up. <laughs> and I just would love to hear how many people call you. So, well, I've got to close right now. Thank you, Christina. And you know what? I'll bring you back again. Okay, great. Right. I'd love and to come thank back. Thank you so much. And this was so much fun. Thanks so thank much. Thank you. And happy holidays. Happy and New Year. Great. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching City Vibes Metro. I hope you enjoyed my guests as much as I did. If you missed tonight's episode, don't fret. You can watch it 24-7 on Charter On Demand, my website, cityvibesmetro.com, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social network media. Thanks to our sponsor, Commerce Bank.